So I'm in, in school, I'm in this little office here on the back, and it's very busy here, but we're getting a lot done. Now, for the maths, rather than just jumping straight into it, I thought I would just go through with you a couple of different examples. These aren't the exact questions on the on the paper, but they're quite similar ones. And these are the ones that perhaps we just need a little bit of revision on, because fractions we did just before Christmas, and there's so many different styles of fractions and stuff like that. It's just a quick reminder of how to do it. So remember, if you have a fraction of a number, remember the bottom number just means we split it into five, and then the top number means how many of those five we want. So the short way of doing that is you divide by the bottom number and times by the top number. So if I split 45 into 5, I'd end up with 9. But I want 2 of those, so I need to times it by 2. Divide by the bottom times by 2, how I get the answer, 18. Okay, so 2 fifths of 45, divide by 5 to get to 9, because 9 times 5 is 45. And then times it by 2 to get to 18. When you're adding and taking away fractions, remember that the first thing you have to do is make sure the bottom number is the same. So when you get a question like this, which is 2 thirds minus 1 sixth, your first thing you've got to think is, right, I've got to change this first. Now, remember that we want the bottom numbers to be the same. Now, if I times this one, if I change this one into sixths, I could times 2 to get that 3 into a 6, and as long as I do... Oh, as long as I do the same with the top number, if I times the bottom and the top number, the numerator and the denominator by 2, I can get 4 sixths. Now 4 sixths is exactly the same as 2 thirds. Now I've got 4 sixths take away 1 sixths, and the bottom numbers are the same now, they're both out of 6, so I can just take them away, which is 3 sixths. That makes sense, doesn't it? So if I have a pizza which has got six slices, and I've eaten four of them. Oh, sorry, uh, I'll say that again. We split our pizza into six slices. I take four of them, but then someone takes away one of my th six slices. So the pizza's been split up into six. I had four of them, but then someone took one of those away from me, one of those sixths away from me, so I ended up with three if you want to change that to a half as well. If you saw that and think, oh, that seems a half, that's great, but you don't need to. Not today. Multiplying and dividing fractions is slightly different. It's actually a little bit easier because you just do one times three and then five times four. Times the top numbers together, times the bottom numbers together. If it was division, you do one divided by three, five divided by four, whatever it is. So that's dead easy. One times three is three. 5 times 4 is 20. I can't make that smaller, so 320 is the answer. So let's go through those again. When it's a fraction of a number, you times by the bottom number, pardon me, you divide by the bottom number and times by the top number. When you've got take away or add, the first thing you need to do is to make sure the bottom numbers, the denominators are the same. So in this case, I times this one by 2 and this one by 2 to get to turn 2 thirds into 4 6. They're exactly the same. And then I can take them away. Now I can do 4 6 take away 1 6, which ended up being 3 6, which is a half. But remember, that's just like an extension bit. You don't need to worry about that one so much. When you're multiplying and dividing fractions, multiply or divide whichever one it's asked you to do the top numbers together. Do the same with the bottom, 3 twentieths. Dead easy. The last one I wanted to go through with you quickly as a reminder, was, let me have a quick look, oh yeah, if you're interested, we haven't done this, in fact I think we're starting this in a, well very soon, and it is finding the percentage of numbers, a lot, I keep on saying when these questions come up, don't worry we'll do that. But if anyone wanted a little head start, what you need to know is that so if I have 10% of a number, you divide by 10. To find 1% of a number, you divide by 100. It's a bit confusing because you'd expect that to be 1, but it's not. It's actually you divide by 100. Okay? And 50% is 
you divide by 2. Now, if you use these in combination, you can find out what the percentage of any number is. So, for example, if I wanted to find 21% of, let's choose a good number, of 120, well, I think that that's going to be 10% plus another 10% plus 1%. 10% plus 10% plus 1% is the same as 21%. 10, 10, 1, 21. And like I said before, 10% is divided by 10, so 10% is 12. 120 divided by 10. And I'm going to do that again. And then 1% is divided by 100. Okay. So 21% is 10% plus 10% plus 1%. So it's 12 plus 12 plus 1.2, which is 25.2. Okay, so don't worry so much about that one if you can't do it, because we'll be doing this in more detail next week, or in a couple of weeks' time, I'm not sure yet. But just to give you a quick heads up, that's how you do finding percent of a number. You can find 10% easily, you can find 1% easily, you can find 50% easily. To find a number, a percentage which isn't 10, 1 or 50, we need to make it. So to find 21, for example, we do 10 plus 10 plus 1. If it was 63, I would do 50 plus 10 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. Okay, but we'll look at that in more detail, just because there is a question on it this week. And just for anyone who wanted some help. Lastly, long division and short division, I would say if you're dividing by a number that is smaller than 12, you short division. If you're dividing by a number that is greater than 12, use long division. If you just like long division and you want to do long division for all of them, I know some people who do just like using long division, whatever, then feel free to. You can't use short division for everything, though. You'll get confused. OK, I hope that was useful. Um, summer test two, give it a go. Set yourself a timer for no more than 30 minutes. If you don't finish, do feel free to finish it off, but just try and do it within 30 minutes. And at lunchtime, or at 12 o'clock, we will go through the answers. OK, goodbye from me. Enjoy.